Alright, what's going on guys? Luke have another PvP build for the Firestone patch. This time on my Stumblade with a crit damage based build this time. With 155% maximum crit damage bonus. It's insane. On the back bar, I'm using something different, Saint Spite, which gives when we successfully dodge 15% extra crit damage and critical healing, which is really useful for one reaction, especially the healing part. For 10 seconds, we can easy back bar it. Front bar the DSA Arena set, Archer's Mind, increase the critical damage and healing by 8%, just flat, and increase the critical damage and healing by 16% when you're sneaking or invisible. With Shadow Disguise, easy possible, so in total 20%. 4% crit damage. Really nice. Combined with Death Dealer's Feet, I usually use Death Dealer's Feet only on Magicka Sources to empower my shields, but also really useful for Stamina Blades. I'm around 20k Magicka with it and over 32k ish HP. Really useful Mythic. Dennis Filler, just one trainee for extra HP and Bloodspawn for extra tankiness. If you prefer, even more damage, go with Balorg for extra penetration. Armor types, I'm on two heavy pieces, chest and helmet, and five medium, four well fitted, and three impen, full prismatic loose of course. On the jury full infuse, two weapon damage and one prismatic region glyph. Front bar battle axe for 12% extra crit damage, in sharpened with the flame damage enchant, and back bar a defending bow with the Berserker Group for extra weapon damage. Quick talk about the crit damage cap. It's around 125%, that's the maximum, right? In PvE, all those mobs and NPCs don't have crit resistance. But for PvP, we have a standard value of 1320. It's about 20% crit damage mitigation. Every 66 crit resistance is 1% crit damage mitigation. Let's say average players are at around 1.5 to 2k ish, means even with 159% we are slightly over the crit damage cap, which is not a big deal. So is it useful to stack as much crit damage as possible? It works for me. If you prefer a little bit more penetration, you can of course adapt this build, go with a, a maul instead of battle axe, or change the mundus from shadow to serpent, that kind of stuff. But I just wanted to show you something else, a full crit damage spec build. And works pretty decent, not gonna die. Quick look on the skills. Rally is burst heal and for minor endurance 15% extra stamina region. Alternative, if you want to use do weird, you can use uh, offering here as burst heal. Then karma hunter, what else for minor berserk, major savagery and slayer another 3% extra weapon spell damage. Just not it. A must have for almost every build. Surprise attack as spammable, which also sets the enemy off balance and applies the Sunder status effect. The Sunder status effect applies also minor breach, so almost 3k penetration on top. Really powerful spammable. Relentless focus for Assassin Scorch, powerful bow proc. Shadow disguise as cloak ability. In cap as ultimate, alternative you can go with soul harvest for major defy, back bar poison injection, really powerful execute dot, race against time for major expedition, 30% extra movement seed, and critical damage, minor force 10%. Bigger self here, then power extraction for minor courage, 215 extra weapon spell damage for 30 seconds, and even applies minor cover dice which reduce the weapon spell damage of your opponent by 215. Percy Mark for Major Breach and as Burst T Soul Siphon still. Alternative if you have the Psychic Ultimate Temple Guard, go for it. Raise Khajiit for extra 12% crit damage and healing. Max Health, Magicka, Stamina and Region. For this build, a crit damage based build, definitely the best choice. As Mundus, the Shadow for 11% extra crit damage. Smoke Bear Hunch as buff food, definitely needed for the extra stamina and magicka region. Vamp Stage 2, mainly for Strike from the Shadows, another 300 extra weapon spell damage. You can go with Vamp Stage 3 though, for the Undeath passive, but you will probably have some sustain issues. 
Attribute points, 16 in health, the rest in stamina, as potions, the tricep potions against the Neuen Eye Blitz, as to use the Detachment potions. CPs, Daddy Aim, Master Arms, do this rebuff and Iron Dead. For more damage, you can put out do this rebuff. For Exploiter, since we can set the aim off balance with Surprise Attack, gives another 10% extra damage. But then we will be kinda squishy. We only have Blood Spawn as mitigation. Red CPs, Sustain by Suffering, Celebrity, Pain Suffuge, and Slippery. Combination, start to pre-buff yourself with Relentless Focus, Rally, and Race Against Time. Apply Per Se Mark for Major Breach, Power Extraction for Minor Courage, then Poison Injection, Swap to Front Bar, Shadow Disguise, into Incap, Surprise Tech Spam, and if the bow is up, use Assassin's Scorch. That's it with another PvP build, thanks for watching, have a nice day, enjoy the gameplay footage, don't forget to sub my channel if you like and comment below, I wish you a fantastic day and I'll see you hopefully in the next video, peace. I can't take it anymore, my mind's about to go to war, I need someone to save me from myself. To hear me cry when I call out for help I blame it on the voices that are in my head Wondering if they'll ever be put to bed Feels like I am close to reaching my wit's end Holding out but I'm about to blow it up like a volcano It's blurry, pushing back the tears Should take a leap of faith and face my fears I blame it on the voices that are in my head Wondering if they'll ever be put